Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for tuning in for another episode. I've recently done a bunch of recap videos on my Lake Eufaula tournament where I went over uh, the fish catches from each day as well as the baits that I was using to catch those fish. And I got a lot of comments from viewers out there wanting to know specifically why the spinner bait I was throwing only had a gold Indiana and a silver Colorado blade in that muddy water versus what a lot of people would throw which is a painted blade whether it's a white a chartreuse orange red a lot of people like painted blades in muddy water but i've got a very specific reason as to why i was throwing silver and gold versus painted blades and i want to share that with you and kind of give you the difference as to when i like to throw painted blades versus non-painted blades in very very muddy water and before i get into that though i do want to remind you that i've got a members only page so if you're looking for more content from me guys check out the members only page uh, we do additional videos on a monthly basis a members only live stream a bunch of cool stuff so uh, if that interests you check that out also if you haven't subscribed yet to the channel one good way to support the channel is just to hit that subscription button so please do that if you watch my videos on a somewhat regular basis and have not yet subscribed all right so let's get into it this bait right here did account for uh, one or two of my weigh-in fish over the course of that event. I did catch a bunch of fish on it, and I was fishing very, very muddy water. And when I say muddy water, I'm talking about like coffee colored with cream muddy water. Very, very muddy water where you put your bait in the water and you would not see it down an inch. That's how dirty it was. And I was catching fish on a spinnerbait. I had a lot of, a lot of success in practice doing it. But one thing, like I said, that a lot of people asked me about was why the gold and silver blades versus painted blades, you know, something more along this case, which is what a lot of people would throw in really muddy water. And it has to do with the sun, guys. If I'm fishing muddy water and I've got sunny conditions like I did in all three days of that tournament, I want to have some chrome colored blades or gold chrome, you know, shiny blades that will reflect that sunlight. It, it gives off more flash in that muddy water. And when you're fishing muddy water, very, very muddy water, every little bit of flash helps. Now, if I throw painted blades, I'm not getting any additional flash because the sun's out. So it makes a big difference. And the reason for this is again, in muddy water, you're trying to create vibration and flash and sound because the fish really aren't seeing it from a visual standpoint. But if you're getting a little bit of flash, that helps. Now, I generally prefer to throw painted blades when the sun is out if I'm fishing clear water because, in my opinion, a lot of times the chrome and gold blades actually produce too much flash. And it can be a little bit of a hindrance when fishing very clear water. But... In this case, it was muddy water, so it's almost the reverse. I prefer in sunny conditions, I'm trying to get as much flash as I can because I think that helps me give the fish something to key in on in order for them to track my bait properly. Now, had we had overcast conditions, I actually would have gone to painted blades. And the reason for that is because there's no sun, I'm not gonna get any flash. And because there's no flash, at that point, my painted blades would actually have produced more color and something for those fish to key in on. But because the sun was out, I'm getting more flash, even in that muddy water, from these blades versus painted blades. So it really had to do with the sun being out on all three days. Uh, it was something I did experiment with quite a bit throughout the entire practice period. And what I did find was in our overcast conditions during practice, the painted blades were really outperforming the chrome and the gold blade. But as soon as the sun would come out, the, the painted blades would, would not produce as much as the flash that I was getting off of a traditional spinnerbait blade. So it does make a difference. It's something you want to pay attention to. And it really kind of is the reverse of what I like to do in most standard watercolor. You know, generally I would actually rather throw painted blades in clearer water when the sun is out because I don't want as much flash under those conditions. But in this case, again, we had sun, but I was fishing extremely muddy condition. And from that standpoint, I prefer the gold and the chrome blade mix versus the painted. 
So hopefully this answers your questions. Pretty basic, but at the same time, it's something that I do think made a big difference for me. Uh, again, I caught a couple of fish that helped me throughout the tournament, and it was something that really in practice helped me key in on the areas that did have fish. I was able to take this spinner bait specifically, cover a bunch of water, and find those zones where there were active fish. Because on Lake Eufaula, from what I saw, there were a lot of dead zones. There were a lot of areas where you would go into a pocket, you'd fish the whole thing, and you wouldn't catch anything. And not only would you not see anything, there wouldn't be much bait, there wouldn't be much life. But when you did get a bite, those were the areas where I could slow down with a jig or slow down with the hover rig and start to pick up a bunch of fish. So the spinner bait, even though it was not a huge player for me in the tournament, it was a really big player for me in practice that let me find the fish that I caught in the tournament on different baits. Uh, it definitely is one of those baits that's a really good, uh, efficient, effective bait that lets you cover a ton of water. Uh, this one specifically is the Berkeley Power Blade. This is the Indiana Colorado Mix in the Coleslaw color, half ounce Berkeley Champ Swimmer. This thing in that muddy water just was thumping. I really have no other way to say it. It felt like I was retrieving a crankbait where it just, you could almost feel the rotation of the blade and it was really thumping. And the Champ Swimmer was giving off a lot of good vibration too. And it's an excellent, excellent combination for dirty, muddy water. So guys, hopefully this answered your question. If it did, hit the like button. If you have additional comments, let me know in the comment section so I can answer those as well. Otherwise, make sure you stay tuned. We'll have a new video coming out tomorrow for you.